teams that you'll see tonight, fullback, 20-year-old Steve Prescott, and one of the best in the business, Graham Stedman. Wings, Alan Hunt, another star to miss out on international selection, and an academy international, Chris Smith. Anthony Sullivan and Simon Middleton, who grabbed tries on each of his last two visits to Nosley Road. Welshman Scott Gibbs making an impressive start to his big league career, and a New Zealand international, Richard Blackmore. Paul Laughlin, a member of 15 test sides for his country, and a former under-21 international, Tony Smith. Standoff Shane Cooper returns to the number six jersey for Saints, and he regains the captaincy. It's another Kiwi and a man bang in form, Tony Kemp. Bobby Goulding is playing so well at the moment, a dramatic return to the test arena is predicted. Another under-21 star faces him, Gareth Stevens. Up front, it's a collision of the biggest. Jonathan Neal and Lee Cooks, who returns after injury on his birthday today. Ex-boxer Adam Fogarty faces Martin Ketteridge in his 11th year at Cass. The hooker, Sean Casey, continues in Bernard Dwyer's absence. Former Wigan man Richard Russell for Castleford. Second rows, Ian Pickavance, not out of the side since January, and Tony Morrison. British international Sonny Nicholl and Andy Hay retains his place. And Chris Joint is an ever-present for Great Britain last season against a Kiwi with some class to wear a nick out. The coaches, they were members of the 1979 Lions touring party to Australia. Eric Hughes and the coach of the year, John Joyner. And we have the referee of the year here at Nosey Road 2 today, John Connolly from Wigan, 34 years old. So two of the survivors in the big league in the Stones Bitter Championship meet head-on here at Nosey Road this afternoon. Graham Stedman gets this match underway, vital for both sides. Lachlan with the first run upfield. Paul Lachlan with a nice £31,000 check in his pocket tonight. That's the proceeds from his benefit year. He was presented with the money just before the kickoff. So he will be feeling good. Fogarty picks himself up. Casey was the dummy half. This is John Neal, the prop forward. Ten metres inside his own half. Pretty interesting move by Castleford. They realise they've got to move it quickly. Not a happy hunting ground here, Nosley Road. Four seasons since they came away with a victory. So they'll be keyed up to try to change that around Middleton gets first touch for Castleford these two sides never out of the first division what a wonderful chase downfield by Shane Cooper he means business doesn't he the same skipper that's three tackles in quick succession for Cooper substitutes today Phil Beavers and Andy Dannett Richard Goddard and Ian Smales that's four tackles in a row for Cooper he is Blackmore it's a good tackling stint this by St Helens. That's the last one, and looking to get early points on the board here. Five and a half minutes gone, nil-nil. Goulding calls for that. Went on the blind side. Good run from him. Ball out by to Hunt. Hunt striding for the corner. Great try. Goulding created it, and Hunt scored it. And it's the high five for Hunt and Goulding. The brilliance of Goulding, he saw that they were short on the blind side, he switched from the open. The dummy, you could see, Hunt, the strength, oh great stuff. Second effort. Spoke to many of the Saints fans earlier today and they came to this game not too confident. But what a start for them. And what a match Goulding's having already. It's joined with the run off his pass. And Prescott just went the wrong side. I don't know. I disagree. If he should have passed earlier. Lovely kick from Goulding. He's inviting Sullivan to have a run. And it was a good job that Chris Smith was there. Casey, the acting halfback, Neil, drives the shoulder into the chest of Nick Howe. I think the Nick Howe is complaining that perhaps there was the use of an elbow there. This is Fogarty who's broken the cover. Oh, it's not existing the cast of the cover at the moment. They're having the devil's own job to bring him down. And that's a penalty to Castle, but he passed it off the floor. Here's Goulding. Danger every time Goulding gets it for Castleford. They've moved up. The ball was in field to Pickavance. Pickavance releases it. It's back with Goulding once again. That time it was legal because the tackle was not completed. It's Goulding again. Scott Gibbs. It was just over the top of him. He just couldn't wheel it in. Pickavance felt a stiff challenge then from Nick out. Neil 
De Gould into Lachlan, he's found space for Lachlan, and Lachlan gives it to Sullivan. They're screaming up into Paul. This is Prescott. Goulding's inside Prescott, but he won't need him. No, he will need him. He should have passed it. No try. Great chase back by Stefan. St. Helens having bounced back, but being found wanting at the moment on defence. Chris Smith is through Prescott. Man out wide is Kemp. Has it all. Oh, that was high from Nickel. He made a grab for the net. The referee says play on. And now the whistle blows, it's a penalty now to Castleford. Interference at the play, the ball. But boy oh boy, Nichols lucky to get that. That's a high shot on Smith. He and the referee has given him, I think, ten minutes in the sin bin, Nickel. It was the second challenge on Kemp that Castleford have got this penalty for. He was the third man in and his arm was swinging. Retained possession and moved right. Saints in possession with joint. Gets the ball out to Alan Hunt, score of their try. Support arrives from Gibbs. Gibbs tosses the ball back inside Pickervance. Pickervance with the strength. How in the devil's own job, Casper, to keep him out? Four of them hold him down eventually. Goulding, quick attack here down this side. And Casper to stretch. Prescott, the ball goes over his shoulder. It's play on, it went backwards. He skips away from the challenges. Can't get away from Lee Crooks. And Morrison flopped on him. And into stoppage time, Casperford camped on that St Helens line. Dabs through, straight into the arms though of Steve Prescott, who steps away from one, steps round Nickow. There's Sullivan. Sullivan's got pace. Can he win the race with Middleton? Oh, great try! Anthony Sullivan. Fantastic effort. Prescott made the break. There's defence was dogged when the ball came out to Sullivan there was no one who could catch him super try this is why front forwards are not allowed to kick especially just before the half time break it should have been a bomb to a blow pressure it didn't it allowed the pull back but wonderful skills from Prescott the inside pass round the back of the man and look at him go sit back Enjoy this, because he certainly is. You little beauty. Castleford way ahead on the penalty count, but trailing on the scoreboard, 15-8. Lachlan with the run, support there from joint. Desperate moments, these for Castleford. As St. Helens try and hit them with a try, either side half time. Gouldings kick to the corner, invites Hunt to go for it, and Hunt slides in. The referee looks at the touch judge, the touch judge nods in the affirmative, and Hunt celebrates as only Alan Hunt can these days with his second try of the match. This was a planned move by Bobby Goulding. He knew that Alan Hunt was going to be out wide. Hunt was screaming to get the ball. Wonderful try. St. Helens then prepared to launch another attack. Cooper. Scott Gibbs. Oh, he saw a little gap. Oh, and he used the shoulder well. It's a good job that Smale's got a fingertip to that, but the ball has come free. Oh, Lachlan. Oh, no, it's Alan Hunt. Did he score it? He did. I wondered whether he got the touchdown or whether he dropped it. I think he knocked off that he dropped it he's been given it he knows how fortunate I think he's doing half a run but probably want to do a full run but let's see clearly the head on shot Cooper the beautiful spin out ball white wide but what a great run from Scott Gibbs they went high just to get out of the way Middleton that's strength for you trying to get the ball through he's knocked down there let's watch this Good try. Good All the skills needed. That's why he's an international for New Zealand. He is Goulding again to Cooper. Good ball there to Prescott, who showed in the first half he's got pace. So is Sullivan. I don't think they're going to catch him. Sullivan streaks in. This is vintage St. Helens. Sullivan. Great try. Steve Prescott. He bumped the 
try in the first half by not passing. He wasn't going to do it again. It was superb hands from the combination of Goulding and Cooper. The fullback leaped through and sent the flying winger, Anthony Sullivan. The style and the grace, the crowd go bananas. That is superb rugby league football. Yes, play from St Helens that I think everybody who's had the coaching job here has said it's difficult to stop them playing. Here's a hat-trick for Sullivan. Play that is off the cuff. Play that comes naturally. And Saints are winning this naturally with two outstanding wingers orchestrated by Cooper and Goulding. Super play from the hooker, Sean Casey. Runs from dummy half, he could see Blackmore failed to move up. He stepped in, they went far too high. The beautiful slip pass, he was in a magnificent position, Anthony Sullivan. Puts it down virtually on the same spot. So once the pitch is cleared of a little bit of stupidity, the referee calls time back on. And away we go once more. And they've done it with a load of class and plenty of pace out wide. Well, it's been a slow start for them of this season. We saw last year that on several occasions they made a bit of a meal of it. Here's Antti Fancy's call. He's away from Middleton. Oh, Middleton did well. He ankle tapped him, brought him down. Gibbs wants to get on with it quickly. Goulding switches the direction again. Stop Gibbs! direction of that attack yes Scott Gibbs says I'm in tune with you they're on the safe wavelength this is how it all came about it was a golden pass outside he used Gibbs as the runner used him as the dummy it was good play though by Middleton he just ankle tapped the winger Alan Hunt but from the quick play of the ball a lot of people throughout the world in sport say that our game is more brawn than brains well look at this this was a switch by Bobby Goulding. The Castleford defence, there were none to be seen. Their tour next month. And Bobby Goulding wants them to be a little quieter while he lines this conversion up. Well, maybe Goulding wants them to cheer all the way to the bank. <laughs> Richie Blackmore and the referee there gave two very quick penalties to Castleford Kemp and loads to Kettridge Scott Gibbs so we spoke to him after the win at Halifax he said he was loving the life in the big league and Scott Gibbs looks like he's reveling in it here Morrison on the charge to tackle Nickel to be fair he is unusual doesn't he he tackles <laughs> More letters from Wales. <coughs> Stephen stabs it through. Pickabance picks it up. They virtually proved that point. We find the forwards went in very strong there indeed. Nick out to Middleton, straight into the arms of Hunt. He's got four. He dances in. Well, if Eric Hughes will be furious with what went before that, the coach of the year, John Joyner, will be anxious to talk to his players in training this week also. This all came about from a wonderful tackle from Scott Gibbs. Here he comes, comes straight into it, crunch time, Gibbsy, bang, out it pops. Hunt, they were never in it. Allen, over. Four, thank you very much indeed. There's the, half, uh, the full time siren. Castleford couldn't stand another 40 minutes of this.